This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hi everybody, welcome to my top five games that beginners should start to paint with. Now, this is a question that has always come up and, and people ask me all the time, what game do I suggest people should start with? Well, I started to think about this and I thought of five games that were really, really easy for a beginner paint, uh, painter to get some confidence without too hard of a structure or, or anything that would take them outside the box a lot. And I, I always felt that I would tailor it more towards anybody that watched a painting 101. They can, if they watched the whole series and have an idea of basic skills that they would be able to perform at a level where these games, these five games that I'm going to give you, you can perform. Or if you've seen any of my painting videos that you can easily do no matter what your skill level. I, could, I believe that there are some people that would do them a lot better, of course. And there's some people that can just pick up a brush and get this done. So, at number five is a game that, that is very dear to me, of course, um, and a good friend of mine. Um, uh, this is a game that, that, that plays very well, but it's not considered a board game. It is actually a miniatures game. And there's two miniature games on here that I think really fit the easy level of, of painting where you don't have to go crazy. Um, one uh, at number five here is bolt action. Uh, bolt action is very easy, and, and the reason that you want to start with it, the figures are bigger. Instead of Flames of War, where you have tiny, tiny little 15 mil, and you really have to scrunch and do that, bolt action is just a squad. And if you're playing the Germans, it's basically gray with black boots and and flesh. You don't have to get over you know over overly creative tanks are easy if you ever seen any of my painting videos where I've done tanks I make tanks look real easy and I think at number five this is a game that you would you would get a lot of joy out of because there's not a lot of miniatures that you have to paint for your side um, all you need is a couple tanks easy to, to take care of and then you know depending on how detailed you want to get like I said, whether you're playing the Americans, the Russians, or the Germans, it's basically just a uniform, some flesh, a quick wash, and you've got enough to get out on the field. The only thing that I think that you would have issues with is maybe trussing up the bases, which really will bring them out a lot. But at number five, we're going to go with bolt action, a bigger World War II type game. At number four, Number four is a game that is very dear to my heart, but I, I always feel that that um, it's probably one of the easier games to paint, especially for a beginner, nobody that's ever painted. The hard part comes in just putting it together, but we're talking about painting here, and this is a game that uh, a friend of mine has bought out and started redeveloping, and that's all quiet on the Martian front. Listen, once you get those those units together, again, it becomes tanks. You don't have to get overly creative with the infantry because they are very, very, very small. But the key here is, is the actual Martians, where it's just priming black and then just a very light coat of lead belcher or, or a rune steel silver and just having fun. You can have your kids help you out. Then once you got that painted, just putting a wash over it, boom, you've got you have instant alien. Then you could truss up any way you like. But I really feel that this is one of those games that is just a very, very simplified, easy thing to do. At number three, number three is a smaller game, but at 15 mil. It is a game that you can get to your table, you can play it on your table, and I've noticed that, that painting these are just a lot of fun and great for beginners, and I've had a lot of success in showing people how to dry brush with this particular. It kind of falls in line with number five, but it is its own separate game, and that is 
Tanks. <laughs> Tanks is probably one of the easiest games to, to, to put together. It, you get everything in the box, you just slap your two tanks together, prime them, and then you're just dry brushing until the cows come home. Again, it is tanks. Tanks are easy. You can get as detailed as you want to really bring out the tank and sometimes throw in decals and things like that. Really cover up an okay paint job and really bring them out. But if you just look at the manuals and, and see how things are, are painted, and I'm talking just straight colors, not camouflage, um, you can even learn use tanks to learn how to dry brush because they're so basic. I think at number three is the game Tanks which is a lot of fun and would is a, just just really comes out perfectly at number two number two is a um, if, if I had it's an expansion to a game but I think these are fantastic for beginners and 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 I think the whole series in general uh, more so the latest incarnation of it Arcadia Quest period okay um, and I know some of you are going oh my god what are you kidding me but the thing that I, I, I like to say is that Inferno was a lot of fun it teaches you how to paint a lot of basic colors but if you take your time they're big enough to work on but the real thing that puts this at the number two slot is some of the expansions such as the frost dragon here now this frost dragon and uh, they have a chaos dragon they have a fire dragon but these are big big models and I think if you're gonna start and you're gonna try to paint before you go to your Arcadia quest set maybe you have some of these expansions that you paid for in the Kickstarter and I think these things are just perfect because they teach you different things you can use a bigger brush to just learn proper strokes and then building your way out and if you see seen any of my videos on how you can show you how to apply a wash and then on top of it shows you how to dry brush and with these bigger figures they're more forgivable they're easy to work with and I really think that this is one that would really uh, come home for you guys along with the Inferno which is just a lot of reds but um, I found that the bigger figures really kind of set the tempo and once you get those down I think once you go to the angels which are, 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 are mostly a lot of metallics and armors that this would be a good and, and something that you would enjoy especially on such a big level it's a lot of figures but it's a lot of practice and I think it's it's something that's worthwhile as far as as painting is concerned the number one series that I think and I call it series because it's slash 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 uh, because there are so many expansions to this and I think this is always a home run um, is is and, and, and it gives you a lot of confidence and that's Zombicide Zombicide is my number one game for a beginner to start off with now whether it's Black Plague, Zombicide itself, the morgue, uh, prison outbreak, it doesn't matter. It's zombies. You could be as creative as you want. The thing that really teaches you here is how when you apply one color and then apply a different color wash, the effect that you get. And then you could be creative with blood, if you want blood or no blood. And, and, and using green washes and and just having fun you'll find that as you start because there's so many zombies that if you take and you paint your first zombie and then you put him aside by the time you get to your last zombie you're gonna find that you're going to be a lot better at it and I think that's what makes it so successful is repetition and, and practice on the same type of different poses different different um, different looks some uh, the abominations add in there break it up but practicing and maybe trying oh let me try gray pants on this guy let me try brown pants on this guy let me try green a uh, pukey green pants and see how that works but everything is working on that flesh and 
if you've seen any of my videos as far as painting zombies, I really make it look easy and anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And this is a game that is number one fun. And when you feel that, when you get it done, you're going to feel like you accomplished something. And that's what's most important because that's going to give you the courage and the stamina to go forward. Now, a game that's an honorable mention and probably should take take the uh, place of tanks at number three now that I stand here and, 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 and think about it. If, if we had to put bolt action and tanks together, okay, at number five, and that'll just eliminate that. If I had to squeeze something in, because I, I, I do these off the cuff, there's no script, there's no nothing. Like I always tell you, I don't script anything, I do everything off the top of my head. But as I, I was sitting here and explaining and talking to you about what I thought would be there, I think if I had to slip something else, because somebody may go, well, tanks and and bolt action are the same thing. Okay, well, let's combine them then, okay? And we'll leave tanks slash bolt action at number five. So that opens up a slot for us at number three. So what do we put in there? Well, I'll tell you what you put in there. And just off the top of my head, Battletech. Why Battletech? <sighs> Robots, easy. You pick the color and it's just a matter of you painting that color and dry brushing out or putting a wash in. Let's not get crazy with camouflage. That's, that's a little advanced. But if you wanted to have your squad of, of, or of five mechs and you were bringing them to the table, I think at number three, Battletech would fit in because you can be as creative as you want. Say you wanted to make them all gray and then take a lighter gray and dry brush over it. Then add little red dots on their lasers and stuff like that. All of a sudden, you've got yourself a very nice, clean, painted squadron that you can go play this game with. And believe me, playing Battletech with painted stuff is always better than not painted stuff. I've, I've played it either way. Either way, it's a great game. But if, if we had to take tanks out of there, I think we would put Battletech at number three. And I think that would work particularly very very well so there you have it my top five games that I think beginners should start with okay don't forget bolt action bunch of tanks bigger guys slash tanks which is just tanks number four all quiet on the, the Martian front number three our latest edition Battletech number two Arcadia Quest particularly the expansions with the dragons you get all four dragons those are great things to practice on and of course number one zombicide anytime you can paint a lot of zombies you're going to feel and get a lot more confidence very quickly and feel very satisfied with the originality and that you'll be able to put into it well there you have it another countdown done I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, I'm Rob Warren. We'll see you soon.